Hi everybody. I'm going to talk about uh, feeding medicated feed to chick. Um, there's a misconception that medicated feed is full of medications. I mean, like um, you know, antibiotics and such. Um, well, first of all, 99% uh, of all medicated feed, the medication in there is something called amprolium. Amprolium. Oh, Betsy, she she cannot eat but what she chokes. So she honks like a goose. She chokes every time she eats scratch. I don't know why that is. But um, medicated feed the is, is uh, doctored with amprolium. Amprolium, now this is just for chicks, amprolium is what they call a thiamine blocker or a thiamine analog. Thiamine is the B vitamin that feeds the oocysts in the soil that cause cause coccidiosis. Um, pro, it's a protozoan. It's not a bacteria. It's not a virus. It's not contagious in the general way that you would think. I mean, you know, if they if one has it in their pooping and you know they're dumping. Uh, coxy lace poop in there. The other chicks are going to get it too, but um, it's not. It's not something horrible happens to almost all groups that are raised in a brooder for four to six weeks and then dumped on the ground. And, and that's the first time they've hit ground. They almost always get coxy. And now that goes for mainly, uh, you know, climates where it's more humid. They may not. You may not see it a lot in Arizona or somewhere like that. But where we live here in the South. Uh, what I call the soupy south, um, you're going to see coccidiosis. No big deal. You, <clears throat> but you know that's why people generally feed medicated feed is they believe it prevents coccidiosis. Well, I'm here to tell you it does not. Um, even when I, I, I do not feed medicated feed. I started out when I had chickens and I fed medicated feed. However, um, my brooder raised chicks. Always, always, always got coxy. Somewhere between four and eight weeks old, the minute they hit the ground, always, always. And um, it's just, you know, it's in the soil. There's nothing you really do about that. There are about nine kinds of named uh, coxy. I can't name them right here for you. There's long, long names. Um, and your soil will have a certain number of those types in there and the chicks will become immune over time to whatever type is in your soil. Uh, by the time they are mm, say 10 to 12 weeks old they are immune to whatever's in your soil for the most part. Uh, I've never had to treat an adult for coccidiosis. Never. Now, you know, there's an outside chance that somebody could walk in soil from some foreign place that had something your soil does not and they might get something but for the most part you're never going to see coxy in adult birds who have developed their immunity. But because I've always had to treat for it anyway, I and, and it it basically blocks the B vitamin thiamine, the amprolium does, and you give it up to them on a daily basis. I felt it better to for, stop feeding the medicated feed, the amprolium laced feed, and when I saw signs of coxy I use Corid to treat for it. Corid is concentrated amprolium. It's not an antibiotic. Uh, for the people who want to go natural, it's not going to it's going to not going to mess you up. It's it's not a medication per se, even though they call it a medication. Um, I don't see a reason to mess with their B vitamins and throw them out of balance on a daily basis if you're going to have to treat for coxy anyway. And I just don't see any reason for. It. And also, it doesn't prevent it anyway. If, especially if you live in a very humid climate, it doesn't prevent it anyway. So I feed non-medicated feed. Now, if you see a feed that's got amprolium and bacitracin or something like that in there, don't feed that. I, I would not. That bacitracin is a very, very mild antibiotic that they might put in some of these, some of these off brands. I don't know. Most of them have only amprolium. That is, if you're going to feed medicated feed, that is your choice, and that's fine. But make sure it only has the amprolium and not this other stuff in there. Um, sorry about the wind. Um, I just don't find there's a, any benefit to feeding medicated feed, and if they're going to get coxy anyway. Now, 
That said, my chicks who've been raised by broody hens are out on the ground earlier and they peck in mama's poop. Yeah, I mean, I mean, gross as it sounds, that's what they do. They'll peck at mama's poop and such. And mama's already immune to the coxie. So it's almost like getting an inoculation um, against it. So I don't very, I rarely ever have to treat a broody raised chick for coxie. Brooder raised chicks, I don't treat them as much as I have. I, I hardly ever have to treat them either because I pretty much put dirt in their brooder um, in the first week of life. I may have to treat for it, but it's no big deal. You give them cord in their water for five days running and you take it out and that's the end of it. I mean, you're supposed to change it daily. You can use the liquid cord, you can lose the powdered cord. It's just concentrated amprolium. It's not any kind of antibiotic. Don't worry about that. Um, and really, coxie's not that big a deal. However, if you do not treat it when you see the symptoms, it can kill. So you really must treat it the minute you see symptoms or you will lose chicks. Betsy, you're going to try to choke to death, aren't you? Just going to insist on choking to death. Girl, I don't know why you can't eat that without choking. That's just, I don't know. She's just like that. And, and another one's like that. Uh, must be the Brahma thing. Must be a Brahma thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, these are my Brahmas. They're almost, they're about to turn a year old. This is Mr. Bash, short for Sebastian. And um, I got two broody, so this is only three of his five. One's raising chicks. The other one is on eggs. And because he has so few, you see their feathers are ripped out, so they're all, all three of these have saddles on now. But he's a good boy. He's a very sweet boy. He's a sweetheart. Aren't you a good boy, Bash? Yeah, you're a good boy. Um, but anyway, that's my take on medicated feed. Um, it's, you know, you don't have to worry about it having all kinds of stuff in it that you don't want. Um, I just don't see a reason to throw their B vitamins out of balance daily, on a daily basis when you can just not feed medicated feed and treat with cord as needed. So that's my take on it. Thank you so much, and uh, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.